Elgato have just released Stream Deck Pedal and here is why you're going to want one. Welcome to Take One Tech, my name's Alec and a nice little surprise today, Stream Deck have, uh, or rather Elgato, have just announced the release of their Stream Deck pedal, uh, or really it should be pedals because there's actually three on the device. Uh, let's not waste any time, let's get straight into exactly what are we talking about first of all. Uh, so this is it, the Stream Deck pedal, but like I say there is actually three pedals, you've got one on the left, one on the right and then this one in the middle. I do like the fact by the way that these are sort of very uh, clearly defined in terms of uh, not just three identical uh, looking and feeling pedals. Uh, so you will definitely be able to tell if you're in the middle or on the outside one. And I'll come to that in a moment, why that is quite useful. Uh, basically, yes, they are just pedals sit on the floor. They are for operating Stream Deck action actions or assigning Stream Deck actions uh, to your feet. <laughs> and I'll tell you why I think that this is quite uh, good in a moment because I have been using pedals for some time myself uh, and they're definitely a useful addition to my uh, uh, <laughs> Mac peripherals and input devices or PC. <laughs> so uh, it just connects to your computer over USB. So there's a USB-C uh, plug in the back of the device and then it goes into a regular USB-A uh, in your computer dock wherever it is going and this is what they look like uh, and this is what it looks like at scale with a regular human foot <laughs> or boot <laughs> uh, so uh, you can see the use cases for it immediately sort of illustrated on here uh, while you're playing games you've got some extra ability to control things with your feet uh, maybe you are a musician and want to uh, control things on your uh, either in your music app or in your live streams if you're doing music live streams uh, with your foot when you haven't got your uh, two hands available or any hand available and it is all just programmed using the uh, regular Stream Deck application. So uh, you can just as same as you could with uh, the regular Stream Decks, the, the, uh, the hardware devices like this. Um, you can also uh, just drag and drop actions onto this new device, the Stream Deck pedal. And as I say, as you can see there, there are three different uh, button spaces that you've got available. Uh, you can modify this slightly, which we'll come on to in a, a moment as well. Um, but why would you actually want to uh, to use a pedal? Well, as I say, there are some use cases where you don't have uh, both of your hands free. Uh, maybe you are uh, taking notes in a Zoom call as well, something like that, uh, and you just want to be able to unmute yourself to talk uh, and keep your other hands free, then you can just do that with a pedal. Uh, or you're on a live stream, so I use my pedals that I've got for putting up comments, taking down comments, things like that. Uh, I just find it easier so that I don't have to look down at my stream deck uh, if I haven't got the button you know, on one of the corners or one of the edges. Obviously, if you have got uh, buttons on the stream deck, you can usually sort of feel which uh, which ones are at the edge. But as soon as you start getting into this zone here, you really have to look down at it. So it definitely does help to have pedals where you can just uh, know that you're just going to press on the pedal and it will do your bidding. <laughs> so uh, that is why uh, you might in potentially want a, uh, a set of these uh, Stream Deck pedals. And as I say, it's one of those things a bit like the Stream Deck. When you first get it, you're wondering if you really have the use case. But once you start using it, you realize that there are lots of other opportunities uh, to uh, to put it to use. So what have I been using then if I'm talking about pedals, if I haven't actually got a set of the Stream Deck pedals, which have literally just been announced today? Well, I've been using this generic set of foot pedals. Uh, you can tell that they are generic because they actually say on them, it's embossed. It just says foot switch. <laughs> so there is no branding on there at all. These range anything from uh, $20 to $50 or $60 uh, depending on the non-brand brand that you get on uh, Amazon or wherever. Uh, I think these were around about $20, $25, something like that. Uh, and I use Keyboard Maestro to map the keystrokes that are being uh, that are coming out of these foot pedals to various different actions. I did a video all about that which I'll leave up in the top corner. But before you go diving into that, I'll say that it is a bit of a workaround. Not many people necessarily feel comfortable using Keyboard Maestro. It's certainly doable, and my video explains it very well, uh, to, uh, to go through and set up all of these actions. But you really can't beat the simplicity of the Stream Deck app for just being able to drag and drop actions on it. And so I will definitely be getting the Stream Deck pedal, I can tell you. <laughs> Maybe even two of them. Um, and as I say, yeah, it does just simplify the process because you can just drag and drop things onto the uh, the interface uh, and it takes out all of the uh, 
all of the unnecessary hassle. <laughs> and at eighty nine ninety nine, I think it's pretty reasonably priced to be honest. Uh, so it's around about ninety. Well, it is ninety dollars. Let's be fair. <laughs> uh, but it's not that much more really than these generic pedals. There have been uh, higher end foot pedals in the past, uh, but some of these can be over a hundred dollars, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred dollars, and more for uh, uh, for musicians and things like that. So. Certainly, I think that they've got the price point right for these things. Um, so let's have a look, shall we, at exactly what is in the box. Uh, I should point out that this is just footage taken from Elgato themselves. As I say, I don't actually have one in my hands. They've just been announced. Uh, but I do want to just share this uh, little footage, bit of footage with you uh, just so that we can uh, have a little look at what's in the box uh, and I can give you some of my uh, thoughts on these things because they've done a couple of innovative things I think. So you've got the uh, cable there, it's a nice long USB-C to USB-A cable, got the instructions and then this is the part that really intrigued me. Uh, we've got these tension springs uh, which I'll come to in a moment, and also these middle pedal stoppers. So uh, what's this all about? Well, you can remove the back and you can remove the springs uh, and you can change out the springs for one of those other four sets of springs, which basically means that you can adjust the tension on the pedals. Uh, and this is quite good because you might have a light touch on the uh, device itself or you might uh, uh, want to just be able to really slam hard down on it if you're really frustrated with something, who knows? Uh, but I do like the fact that you can adjust the tension. So now you can see you can either give it a light touch or if you want to be able to uh, hit it harder. The reason why you'd have that, by the way, is hopefully obvious so that you don't inadvertently press it. If you've got, you know, uh, resting your foot on it, uh, you don't want to inadvertently press it when you don't mean to. So you might want to have that extra tension there. So that is a great little feature. Obviously, because you can change out the springs individually on each pedal, you could also have different tensions on each one. So you may want to rest your foot on the middle uh, pedal. Uh, and so you might want to have, you know, quite a hard uh, level of tension in there so that it takes some force to push it down. But then the ones over to the either side, you might want to just have a sort of light touch on there. And speaking of resting your foot on the middle pedal, they also come with these little stoppers. Uh, and this basically is to, to enable you to really disable the middle uh, pedal. So by putting those in, it stops you from being able to press down the pedal. So then you can actually just use that as a footrest. Uh, and then you'll just always know that you can sort of swap your foot from either side to either of the side pedals. And uh, as I say, you've basically disabled the center pedal. Isn't that a little bit uh, counterintuitive then to buy a three pedal pedal <laughs> and disable one of them? Uh, well, maybe, but maybe not, because one thing to bear in mind is this is a Stream Deck device. So uh, here we're looking at basically the Stream Deck interface uh, and you can just drag and drop uh, things on there. You can also, by the way, adjust the sensitivity in the uh, in the app itself. So by going up to the settings, uh, then you can adjust the sensitivity there. Um, but don't forget that with Stream Deck, you can uh, assign profiles to different devices, and that's exactly the same with the pedals. So you could have multiple different profiles for the pedal where you've got multiple different actions then for each pedal. And then it's just a case of sort of switching between your different profiles uh, so that then the pedals are doing different actions. How do you do that? Well, there is a switch profile uh, command in Stream Deck, which not only allows you to switch profile between uh, the profiles on the device that you're on, but you can also switch profiles on a secondary device as well. So let's just have a quick look at that because that's something that's worth bearing in mind even if you've only got, uh, <laughs> I say only, if you've got two regular Stream Decks or maybe you've got the mobile app and the hardware device. So let's come over to my Stream Deck. And if you come up into the Stream Deck plugin, uh, then you'll see one here, which is Switch Profiles. Now, what I can do is uh, you see here the profile. I can choose from one of my profiles. I've got quite a lot there, Stream <laughs> listing down off the bottom of the screen here. Um, but you can also choose a different device. So I actually have two mobiles that I also have attached uh, to uh, my computer sometimes. So I've got Stream Deck Mobile 1 and Mobile 2. So what this is enabling me to do is actually use a button on my main uh, Stream Deck to then switch profiles on my mobile. Well, this is essentially exactly how you would do it with the foot pedals. So if you wanted multiple different actions for your foot pedals, you could have a button on your regular Stream Deck on your desk uh, and assign those different buttons to different 
foot pedal actions that you wanted so you could just switch between them so maybe when you're on a live stream you press a button and you want the put the buttons to control comments or things like that uh, or maybe if you're in a zoom call you want it to do things like mute and unmute and so on so you can have a button on your regular stream deck to switch those profiles on your foot pedals I'm really excited about these foot pedals, to be honest with you, because I think that uh, the form factor, because sometimes, I've got to be honest, uh, these ones, although I tend to keep them in the uh, the same place on the floor, obviously, uh, sometimes I have to just double check which one I've got my foot on, whereas the form factor of the Elgato uh, pedal means that you are really always going to know which one you've got your foot on so there won't be any of that potential for confusion uh, and then also i do like the uh, adjustable tension because that does mean that you can really get something that's more tailored to you uh, i don't think i will be uh, sort of stopping out the uh, central pedal at all uh, but it is a nice thing to have there because then you could just rest your foot on it and always know which way your feet were going uh, I'm using a uh, standing desk, or rather, I'm standing up when I'm making these videos, uh, so I won't be sort of resting my foot on it. Um, but yeah, that is still definitely a good feature. I'll obviously, as soon as I get my hands on one, or my feet on one, I should say, uh, I'll definitely be making a, uh, a full review, but I did just want to uh, come on and uh, make this little video to say how excited I am about it and why you may potentially want one yourself. <laughs> if you found this video useful, then of course, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, head down to my Buy Me A Coffee page if you really enjoyed it as well. And uh, maybe I'll put a Stream Deck pedal as one of my goals on there too. <laughs> That's all for this video, but I'll leave a link to some other Stream Deck videos over on the right hand side. So uh, don't go anywhere, more great content coming up next. But until I see you next, have a great day.